February 25th, 2021. My name is Thomas Wigan. And as you can see, when I mentioned to, and when you're dealing with, with people difficult to appears, uh, as in, like I mentioned in middle school, what I had to go through in middle school on dealing with a th my, with a difficult peer of mine. Hi? Yes. Guess what? You need to learn in middle school? Well, you need to learn to pick your battles. Well, actually, that's a little bit more of the third grade thing. That you're learning, that when you're in third grade, you, you're learning to pick your battles. Well, it's on standing up for yourself. Oh, yes. The basic answer you'll say when you're standing up for yourself when is no. Number two is that you get parents involved. Oh, if, if that's optional. Oh, and yes, you be fair, respectful, and understanding, and firm. But, I want me to say this. If you're looking at someone with disgust, like if you're looking at, at a sibling with disgust and your sibling complained to your mom or your dad about it, but, uh, and you're just saying to teach them a lesson, guess what? Don't fight with fire. Let me tell you something you're going to lose when you play with fire. The correct way to end that issue who is how I suggest as this in a setting. One, take it to a living room, kitchen, and or or right near an office area, or a table or couches. And that's number one. Number two, the parent's job is to is for your son or your daughter to listen to each other. So that's number two. Oh, number three, if uh, the son and daughter is being looked at with disgust, us ten, and let's say the son is looking at his his sister with disgust, allow him to to express the reason why how they are, are looking at them with disgust. First, and number four, or or the sister. Number four, you take responsibility for that. Because it's the parent's job to get your kids to listen. And for the son or daughter to listen. And because uh, if you look that with disgust and the brother or sister said that you probably deserved it. Well, yes and no. And I'll say mostly no. Oh. But it's not right to look at someone with disgust. It's understandable. Or if someone mistreated you and you looked at them disgusted. But if you want to, if you're trying to put someone in their place, that doesn't make it right. I've been there before. I looked at people with disgust. Hust, and I, I took the two or two, and I've been looked at with disgust. So if you looked at someone with disgust, Hust. Guess what? You know who you are, and I suggest you think carefully. Yeah. Because someone's gonna put you in your place if you looked at them with disgust. So, if I were you, I'd think this carefully. If you looked at a sibling with disgust, and the mom or dad caught you saying, hey, don't be here like that, and uh, moms or dads don't. Rise above her. Uh, don't go or blowing up. Just be calm. Be respectful. Understanding. And just uh, go with those three rules. Well, so be a stereotypical home mom and dad. Just ask if uh, they are angry at the brother or sister. Uh, Describe, ask why are they angry at them? And what do you expect active from, from the brothers and sisters to do to make the, her relationship right? 
pack with you. Relationships are not worth cleaning up, healing if for the work is not put into who it and is not put into for cleaning cleaning up your relationships. It's not worth selling to you. But it's a promise I'm willing to keep. If you don't wanna you always if you wanna clean up a relationship, I suggest you do the hard work. So that's just my idea. So please comment, like, rate, share, subscribe. I'm. Oh, no, no.